Um, unfortunately, everybody has to hold their breath while they power this uh, this wheel for the time being. But this is temporary because once we grab this natural gas, we're going to have lots of power and we're going to generate it probably right here. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Episode 9 of the Automation Upgrade, where we've got some, well, some maintenance to do. Before we get on to the main project, uh, it has been mentioned, and I've been meaning to do it, I've just, I've been focused on other things. Uh, we need to get these, these power shutoff valves are not being used properly, so... The way it was described to me in the comments, and I've, I verified this through a, a debug world that I experiment with this automation stuff with, uh, this power shutoff clamp is actually doing nothing right now. In fact, uh, this hydro sensor can control this pump through the automation grid whether this power shutoff is here or not. Um, this power shutoff really is for clamping down on a wire that runs through it and the wire does not run through it. Now that being said, down here at the chlorine geyser, the power wire is actually running through it. So this uh, would effectively, I don't think, I don't think this pump would ever turn on, not even if this was set opposite, because if I switch it to above, let's watch, then it powers the pump, but the pump gets disabled by the automation grid. If it's below, the, the thing turns off, but now the automation wire is off, so it won't be powered in that way either. So that being said, those power shutoff valves are not necessarily for this setup. Now, that kind of brought the question to my mind, what are the power shutoff valves for? And then I realized, oh, like if you have plastic being made and it's getting really hot, you can have a temp sensor say, hey, if you're at this temp, clamp down on the power, shut off the plastic production. So that that makes a little bit more sense. Um, it's just, unfortunately, I was not using it properly. And so we're gonna need to open a way into here. Uh, but we're also gonna need to, well, no, let's let's just take it one thing at a time. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do is I actually wanted to... No, we don't need an eight. Close this up down to just one little space. Now, three or even two is what's letting this oxygen pile up down here, and we need to make it really hard for oxygen to go down so that the only thing that can come down is the stuff that builds in the very corner and then falls naturally, which is the carbon dioxide. So we're going to fix that. And then this here, we got little bits of hydrogen trapped up top here. Now this hydrogen will slide over and up. This hydrogen may slide over, but it will need some gas perm tiles there for that to happen. And then down here we have all this chlorine, but I believe this will flush out as pressure is equalized in there. Okay, that looks like that's good enough for now. Let's go ahead and run what we have. We do have another snazzy suit. And the big thing I need to address, I'm sorry, this will be the last time I pause it for a minute. As I had said in the last episode, you know, let me know if you want to be assigned over here. However, I set you up for failure, all of you. Uh, I'm not going to let you choose. I, I deeply apologize, but what we need to do is we need our best athletics team over there. And that's going to be Sylvia Fox, Master Mitty. And see, I can't, and I can't send anybody with any kind of aid skill. GG and uh, Edward G, you guys are likely going to be the high time experts that stay back at the training area because this is also where the sick bay is going to be. So then I guess the next option would be 007 Halfling. Okay, Master Mitty, Sylvia Fox, and 007 Halfling. You guys are moving to the new base. Master Mitty. Sylvia Fox and 007 Halfling. And then that means here we're going to do Master Midi, Sylvia Fox, 007 Halfling. There you go. Okay, assignments have been given. Let's let everybody move around, see what they're up to. Gigi, what are you up to? You're going to get that. Okay. Uh, I was a little disappointed that I didn't see any Wheeze Ward up here. Oh, oh, but we did find our second Steam Geyser. That's pretty exciting, and it's right next to the cold biome. So I think we're gonna leave this one for our oxygen for now. That needs to be uh, broken. <laughs> and there's gold amalgam there, that's odd. Well, waste not, want not, I want, no, not a mop. Goodness, mop up that hot steam geyser. No, I want the gold amalgam swept up. 
Uh, but this geyser we might cool. In fact, this area here looks like it's going to become our sweet wheat farm. And we're going to cool this water here to irrigate it. Pretty sure that's how we're going to do that. Now, because we can create more sand, and we have a ton of it, but because we can create more, likely when we need more oxygen out of water, we, we're going to try and use a water purifier and just make more sand as is needed, since we can make sand in our handy-dandy rock granulator. Oh, here we go. This is getting set up. This is nice. I like that. This has been disabled. Excellent. So now this automation grid will just hold this pump just fine. Uh, if it is above a thousand, turn the pump on. There it is. And that pump is on. Uh, disabled because it has no power. That's that, that little circuit there is tapped out. This circuit is barely being used. And that circuit is tapped out. Hmm. So the reason that this works, though, is most of this stuff isn't being run at the same time. In fact, right, all of these would have to be running at once for the uh, the wire to short out. And that's, that's not going to be the case. Here, let me speed things up a little bit. And we're still auto-bottling this out so that we can finish this as our farm. Let's see how the oxygen is looking. Hopefully people will come over here and breathe this up over time, maybe. This food storage here is doing great with all this chlorine. Um, unfortunately, everybody has to hold their breath while they power this, uh, this wheel for the time being. But this is temporary because once we grab this natural gas, we're going to have lots of power and we're going to generate it probably right here. Uh, but that will be determined by how large this swamp biome is. If the swamp biome ends like right here, we might just pipe it over in this direction. Uh, because this swamp biome is massive. This one will likely take a whole team. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, we're going to need exploration to happen regardless. And in fact, speaking of exploration... Oh, look, there's more swamp biome over here, so this team might end up doing all of this because we also have slime lung inside of our uh, hydrogen chlorine uh, biome. I'm not sure what to call this biome. I know this is a swamp, and that's and the bottom biome is oil, and then this would be the snow biome, but, but what what do you call this biome? What, what is this? The, the phosphorite biome? The chlorine biome? I don't know. It has a little bit of everything bleedstone and hydrogen and all kinds of stuff but we have been inundated with this slime lung so we're gonna need to handle that how are we doing here okay let's request some suits please please and thank you and then what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves up here like this There we go. Everybody can breathe. All of this is going to need to be swept up. How's our storage looking? Lots and lots of storage still available. This power shutoff valve has been destroyed and the gold swept up. So we can put our abyssalite tile right back there. And then this abyssalite highway was also ruined by generation. Oh, and this slime lung is up in this biome, too. This has got to be one of the messiest uh, generation of biomes I've seen since I've started playing. Just with, But it could be a product of the new update, uh, to be fair. I'm going off of you know data from past updates. Uh, let's see. Also, lots and lots of iron. Very interested in getting that. So let's start digging up this iron. Well, we've got more iron here, but we'll worry about that later. For now, though, I want a lot of this metal, so I'm not tempted to use my copper. I'll hold on to the copper as long as is necessary. Let's see, we're going to need a ladder up this way. And uh, you know what? We'll just bring the ladder up like that. And we'll set ourselves up for 
this group of iron right here. Yes, won't that be nice? Excellent. Okay. All of this is doing good. We're still funneling carbon dioxide down here. This area is about to be done. Let's sweep up the new base. I don't want... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. If that's done, then we need to get some doors in there, please. Thank you. Um, in the meantime, also, I would like, uh, out of priority six, all of this to be swept up, please. Um, it's not that it's overpowering the decor. Our resident artist is so powerful with their with their craft that it, it a little bit of not a little bit a lot of clutter all over the floor couldn't hurt how decorative these rooms are. But even still, we want to sweep it up. It's kind of kind of yucky. I don't like all of this stuff all over the ground. I don't I don't like that. That's and the slime lung starts right here. Oof. Okay, so out of these doors, the only people that'll be able to pass these doors are. Uh, no, we'll say anybody can come back through the door in case they get stranded over there. Same here. But for special permissions, we're going to say Master Mitty has both directions, Sylvia Fox and 007 Halfling, and then the same thing here. Master Mitty, Sylvia Fox. And let's just check the jobs and make sure I got that right. A 23, yep. Edward G's a, an, an aid person... Sylvia Fox, 007 Halfling. Okay, great. Means Edward Rue, you're going to be now a new trainee. You should assign yourself a bed over here. Yep, right there. And then we'll be getting the next duplicate. So as we, and this is how we're going to step in increments. As we build a new base and assign new spots for duplicates, then these spots will open up and we'll print more duplicates to fill them up. And then once this training area is full, we'll start looking at where the next base is going to go. And the next base is going to go down here to branch into the oil biome. Mm, might go through here just to see what all is down here, but uh, this oil biome, because we're going to need lots of diamond for lots of temp shift plates, this whole oil, oil biome is going to be cleared out in mass. So we're going to need another base of three. And that will likely get set up down here. But before we do that, we're going to need another micro-oxygen setup like this. And I was really hoping to get some wheeze warts so that I could temp shift plate up into that and then put some wheeze warts here and just help cool this whole thing off and, you know, help the oxygen distributed be a little cooler. It's 40 degrees right now. Kind of warm. It's, it's a little toasty, but luckily we're starting to overpressurize. Um, I did notice that this plant is not going to be able to do a thing here. It's a little too warm in this base for a bluff briar. We might move those over into this lavatory. In fact, that's exactly what I think we'll do. Because I really like the plants. And I want to use them. And it should be... Yeah, 27 degrees, 27 degrees. That should be fine. And then over here we'll go a statue. Hey, the exosuits are docked, and they are charging. Look at that. That is great. This area is still trying to reach its max pressure as it is slowly but surely pushing the chlorine down and out the door. Every time it opens, that's exactly what we want. And the hydrogen has bubbled up there as we wanted. Great. Great, great. I love it when plans come together. And then, of course, everybody has their nearby food source here, which I'm not going to restrict access to the food sources. The idea is that we'll have be swimming in food at all times. No, not literally, but with so much food, it, it shouldn't matter. It really shouldn't matter uh, who eats what from where, realistically speaking. Okay, so let's start with our sterile hallway. And to do that, what we're going to need is... Power. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Well, it's likely that this circuit will be placed off of a transformer from our heavy watt wire. So let's just... Wire it like that for now. And we'll give the dupes a ladder make that happen. We'll dig that out. 
Right, perfect. Okay, so then we're going to need to pipe the vent, or pipe the chlorine, though. Let's use igneous rock. We're just going to follow the same path to here. Uh, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I sort of made that a little tricky for me. I could just run up, over, up, maybe cut across here, and then go up like that. Yeah, that's how we'll do it. Okay. So with a gas bridge, we'll bridge it here. And we'll go up, over, up, bridge again, and then up to here. Perfect. Okay. So let's start talking about this clean room. Uh, the question is, well, we can't make plastic yet. Mm. Metal floors cause heat to travel quickly, which makes sense. I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I suppose it could work both ways in your favor. Let's, let's make a lot of refined iron, please. All of this looks like it's going well. Oxygen is flowing. Should start backing up here before too long, once everything starts to get equalized. We're really not using that much of it. We're going to get another duplicate soon, which is also good. And then once this is cleared out, we can expand our farm area ever so slightly. All right, so then in this direction, right, we're gonna dig that out. We'll stick with uh, normal floor tiles for now. What did I make these out of? Abyssalite? No, not authorized. Nope. It's going to be igneous rock for sure. Same here. Now, how close can we get to this? Okay, the first bit of slime lung is there. Uh, let's see, let's see. So, the gas pipe. I'm just going to put a vent right here, and we're just going to start stuffing this full of chlorine. That's what we're going to do. And I think... I think we're going to put some ore scrubbers. Uh, not that we're going to be intentionally taking a lot out of here, but we already have the chlorine here, and I'd like them here just in case. Like, just in case a, a duplicate. Mm. Just in case a duplicate gets a little squirrely and tries to bring something back. Uh, speaking of which, let's lock this door. Just, just I don't want somebody running, running slime lung back through the base to try and stuff it in this storage compactor. This storage compactor is the clean slime. There is, there is such a thing. There is such a thing. I know it seems like there hasn't been such a thing as clean slime in forever, but no, there is. There is. A lot of work for everybody to do now. Let's start taking a look at our new duplicant for the base. Okay, pull up my list from HR here. Uh, next, we will be hiring, uh, what do we have? Ooh, digging construction. Tinkering immunity construction athletics cooking. That's cannot combat, full of it, pass fist, core expectation zero, zero, destructive. I think we gotta go with digging immunity construction. That sounds pretty good, having a high construction skill. We've got tinkering. Nope, no, 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 we're gonna stick here. Uh, so we've got to print you and then name you. There is a bug that's going around with the naming of the duplicates. I'm sure you've seen it thus far. So, you will be known as, henceforth, let's say, 
Shaza, welcome to the colony. Just scratch your name off the list, and we'll keep going down the list as we go. Okay, and we'll be printing another duplicate in three cycles. Wonderful. A lot of work to get done, though. Everybody's still trying to get the sweeping done. All that sweeping I queued up apparently was a really big deal. I did give it a high priority, admittedly, which is fine. I wanted it to be a high priority. Look how much cleaner the base looks. Oh, yes. Very good. Okay, and who gets the new snazzy suit? We're going right down the line here. Sylvia Fox. Congrats on your new snazzy suit. Yay! Okay, good, good, good deal. Good deal. Yep, I know. Okay. They're still not fully charged, but they will be soon. Sweeping is done, and now everything else is starting to get done. Look at that. Your 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 food and your meal area is right here next to your bed and everything else. I love it. It's great. You guys should be able to get a lot of work done before you have to come back. Oh, but you're helping out with this work, too. Well, that's by design. I don't want to trap anyone anywhere. More, if I'm going to restrict access through doors, it's going to be people that aren't allowed in certain areas and not have anything to do with with anybody being trapped anywhere. Oh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Sylvia Fox, that was getting a little, little bizarre. Oh, Shaza. Oh yeah, that low athletics. See, and that is the most important part of this training area, why it runs on manual generators, um, at least some of the time. So you can get your athletic skill up before being assigned somewhere else because you absolutely cannot get a job that requires exosuits unless your athletics is nice and high. There we go, we're getting all this piping squared away. All right, let's talk about our ore scrubbers here. We're gonna go, why can't I? Oh, because of this. This needs to be uprooted, please. This is, this is cramping my style big time. I want it to go away. Oh, look how nice the base looks. And I guess this will be swamp base zero one. I don't know. I've got to get more creative than that. That sounds sounds a little... Yeah, I don't know. All right, so we'll put our statue there, and then we'll get over here. And we'll make our flower pots here. Get some plants in the lavatory. Oh, what? <laughs> Natural gas geyser one and two. Okay, that does it. This is going to be the natural gas gen electricity generation area. Which means it's also going to be where we make our fertilizer, right? No, fertilizer needs to be not at an exosuit checkpoint. We could do fertilizer stuff here, but we're also going to need to refine petroleum, which I guess we could pipe up this way. Refine it here in the fertilizer area. This way, as long as everything is somewhat centralized, then no matter which base you're stationed at, you should be relatively close to where you want to get your work done. Yeah, look at that. Double natural gas geysers right next to each other. It's a pretty interesting seed. Now, again, if you've, uh, if you've missed it in the comments, there it is. You feel free to pause it. Write that down. That's the world seed. Uh, I also, I've left it in the comments in the past couple videos. Can this not be reached? This is a big deal. I would like this done. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, but we are beginning to pump our chlorine into here. That's exciting. Is there a job that's more pressing? What's... I don't care about all this sweeping. 
Where's my exosuit crew? Say, this is a priority nine, you know. Is somebody trapped somewhere? Let's see what happens. guys have access. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's all about. Is it unreachable? It's got to be that it's unreachable. Yeah, it is, cause it's cause it's technically rooted in this square, and while this is four, wait, one, two, three, four. No, it is okay. Just need a bit of scaffolding. That's fine. Well, we're gonna increase the priority on that. Well, we got 1.3 cycles for the next duplicate. Let's get this taken care of, please. Do we need another one? Is that really the case? Okay, then there's another one. Let's do it. Thank you, 007 Halfling. Oh, no, you've got it just fine. Perfect. Okay, good. Now, we'll go back to here. And we'll start looking at ore scrubbers, as I said, just to make sure that if anybody gets squirrely and tries to bring something back, it will get scrubbed. go. Um, this should be good. See, our, our crew should come out here because they're the only ones capable of doing this job, which it looks like they are. Don't stand in the doorway, please. Don't, don't do that. And look at this. The chlorine is all but washed out. Sterile atmosphere here. And how is, is this improving now that we've restricted oxygen flow? It looks like it is a little bit. Still not sterile atmosphere here. We're going to get a lot of rotten food, but that's okay. We're making plenty for everyone to eat. So let's go ahead and... We're just going to chain these in succession. Okay, nobody be bringing any kind of slime lung back with you, please. Chlorine should purify everything here. Um, yeah, surrounded by chlorine, 100% dead per cycle. Oh, it's it's dying off fast. Okay. All right. So that'll take care of these ore scrubbers, and then from there. How do I want to do this? Let's see if that works. I'm not sure if that will work, but we're going to see if that works. Although that's going to drop it down here. Well, this is chlorine. This should... Uh... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% how that's going to work. Natural gas geyser, one and two. I'm not sure how long I want this hallway to be. I want everybody to be able to scrub their ore twice. So, I mean, realistically, we're going to need six. It's just all there is to it. Seems a little excessive, ever so slightly, but... I think it's necessary. I really do. So let's go ahead and keep planning for that. Yep, yeah, no, 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 it's happening. Okay, that's that's what I wanted to happen, actually, believe it or not. 
So the slime lung is trickling down, and oh my goodness, it's all chlorine everywhere. And this chlorine is filling up this area. So that being the case, we should be able to get this slime lung out of this area here. Which is nice, because I would like this geyser to not be exosuit uh, material. Algae, slime lung, surrounded by polluted water. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't want to bring Slime Lung back into the base, so there's, there's going to be a little, a little battle here between the chlorine and the polluted oxygen. Because now there's slime here. It's going to have to be taken care of. But this slime has almost lost all of its, all of its Slime Lung due to the chlorine. All right. The next duplicate to join our colony... Ooh, minus strength. I don't like that. Ugh. I don't really like any of you. That's... That's got to be the worst. Until they give you ways to increase your strength. No, see, I can't... Learning. That's... Germ resistant. Slow learner. Ugh. I let's let's take a look at something because I'm pretty sure pretty sure everything uh, most things can be skilled up over time yeah tinkering digging construction all that stuff can be skilled up so no I don't know I don't want another duplicate that bad that I'm going to compromise we need somebody, hopefully, with some high strength. Is what I would, what I would like. Oh, uh, this isn't happening the way I wanted it to. And now we've got this slime lung down here. There it goes. There it goes. And now we're talking about polluted oxygen all over the place in here. Whoa! Did you see? That's what I'm talking about. Bringing that algae back, just to be helpful. Like, oh, I'm gonna store algae in storage. And they're priority ones anyways. It's just just trying to be helpful, boss. I, I know, but that's why these ore scrubbers are here. Alright, let's... Let's start to handle this, shall we? Exactly. We're going all the way over there to get that slime lung. All of it. Better not be bringing those germs back with you. All right, all right. Well, now we're making polluted oxygen, which is not really what I wanted. Well, what we could do is we could put a little air deodorizer up here. That could help us out just in getting this area sterilized. This can be a thing. But the slime. The slime. The slime is really just going to need to be stored somewhere where we can inundate it with chlorine. Like in here, where we can pressurize this room full of so much chlorine, because eventually we're going to make this a high-pressure vent. This this clean room is going to be just soaked in chlorine. Hmm. How are the germs looking? We've got some, but hey, we're cleaning the polluted oxygen into oxygen now. That's important. Yeah, see, look at this slime. That's Why don't we try this? Why don't we see how this works? I don't know about this, but we're going to give it a shot. There you go. We're going to say you are for slime. Add a two. 
Oh, there you go, scrubbing it up. Very good, very good. Oh, look at that, though. You got germs all over your suit. So what does that mean? Okay. This area is going to need chlorine as well. That's exactly what that means. I wonder if we can just make these gas perm tiles here. As long as nobody's bringing that stuff back with them. The med bay will have to be next. Just to ensure we don't have any issues. Although I think we're getting it under control. I think the air pressure, the chlorine pressure here is so great that it cannot produce any polluted oxygen, and then even if it did, it should be overcome by the sheer amount of chlorine. Look at that, just killing all the slime lung on it. Good deal, good deal. And we'll make this clean oxygen inhospitable for the slime lung. I think what we're gonna have to do is get rid of you, and then we'll have to extend this out a bit. At least to fit two more ore scrubbers, I want every person that goes into this area to be able to scrub anything they're carrying twice, no matter what. And then that's where we'll put our double airlocks. So then what we'll do is we'll have the exosuit squad They'll go up, they'll secure this natural gas geyser. Oh, look, it continues on. That's that's great. So we have tons of space to set up our area and a little bit of a snow biome and then more here. And oh, there's a wort seed. Temperature is not a huge issue yet, though. Ooh, it's getting there. 29 degrees. That's that's fine. It's warmer over here. I suppose we could kind of encase this in abyssalite and try and keep this a little mm, I don't know though we'll see we'll see oh look at that we're already having to purify everything there's so much slime lung going on and this is producing polluted oxygen mm, that's I don't really like that, though. Because that means now we have this battle. We have this battle of polluted oxygen and chlorine going on over here. Chlorine should be backing up. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. So it's just waiting to push more chlorine into there. Let's go ahead and connect these up here. There we go. And then our double door airlock here. There you go, scrub it up, scrub it twice, do what you gotta do. And then that is going to need to be taken care of. Pronto, or we're gonna be disinfecting that constantly. Oh, well look, we've got slime lung up here. We don't even need to dig that up to be totally honest. It'll die on its own. There's no more slime there to continue spreading the disease. And this will help our chlorine find its pressure equalization so that hopefully we can keep it overpressurized in here. Kill off all this slime lung in our little clean hallway. Uh, let's get this door done and then we're going to wrap up the episode. Looking at the time. Actually, we'll go ahead and start our sign off now, I think. All right, so this has been Oxygen Not Included, Episode 9. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I have had a good time playing. Be sure to come back next time as we get our natural gas situation squared away. And we'll get this area cleaned up so that non-exosuit types can come over here and work with this one and the exosuit army 
or crew, it's not quite an army, will be able to come up here and get that one. But until next time, take care.